complete a long overdue project. If you remember probably a year ago now. Alright guys, gonna give you all a bit of an update. We redid our bar here. And you're about to see why everything is piled on the bar. But we redid the bar. Alright, and then we redid the walls. We wanted the outdoor theme going all the way around. We got the fireplace on the wall. Well, it's time to change the floor. So I'm old enough that when I get down there to start pulling this carpet, it is even harder to get back to my feet. But I got most of it done already. As you can see, we're down to the cement floor. And all I got to do is move a few things in. Yes, she still has a Christmas tree up. You tell her she can't have that up because I'm not going to do it. But the goal today is to get the rest of this carpet up, get it out of here, wash the floor, and be ready to put the new floor down. And wait till you see that. That is going to complete this whole room. Other than I want to change that door. That door just does not fit here. So I got to get a new door and probably a new door over there as well. Anyway, let's get to it. up around the room that's the tedious part trying to get the the sticker board off the side uh, Axel found out the other night that uh, you don't stick your nose on that self-correcting anyway I'll get the rest of this done I'll bring it back when it's time to put the flooring down I kind of like the flooring it's gonna bring the whole room together the outdoor life all right time for an update um, ideally you want everything out of the room when you do this, but I don't really have anywhere else to put it. So I got to continually move it back and forth. But here's where we're at. We're starting off in this corner here. We're going down to here. Now the problem is... Look at the cement. That's not even at all. So that is throwing a wrench into things here. I've been on that one piece for about 30 minutes, just trying to get it to fit right so that the rest of it will fit right and not end up crooked. But we'll get her done, and uh, we'll give you an update here in a second. Well, progress is slow. Uh, the difference between the vinyl and the regular laminate is that the vinyl is flimsy, so it makes it a little more difficult to put together, but here's where we're at. It looks nice, really like the floor. Like I said, it's slow going. I think that's gonna be it for tonight. We'll see y'all back in the morning. All right guys, gonna give you all a bit of an update. Uh, it's the next day, by the way. We had a couple of family events to attend, which obviously this got put off, but here's where we're at so far. Almost done. Axel's trying to do his best to stay off it because it's like a skating rink for them. Which means we're going to have to get a big carpet to go in the middle. But, almost done. I'll get back to you. By the way, I would time lapse me putting this stuff down here. But, uh, as per union rules, I take quite a few breaks. So you might see me put a couple pieces down, have a coffee. A couple more down, have a coffee. She's not much help. But she's trying. <laughs> Well, 
I finally got it done and it wasn't without a struggle. I'll explain something to you here in a second. But hear the air fryer run up there. It's my turn to cook. That's why we got the air fryer going. Okay, so this is it. Axel over there enjoying the new floor. I think it turned out pretty good. Now, what this is, is a laminate floor. You guys help? Hey. <laughs> hey, what are you guys doing? All right. This is not laminate. Ah, uh, diesel. Is that laminate or is that? <laughs> Axel says it's not laminate. It is not. It's actually vinyl, click together vinyl. And I thought I had video of me putting it together and I know, I know, I didn't hit the record button. I didn't hit the record button. So I got no video of me putting it together, which is probably just as well because they say that when you, if you buy cheap laminate or cheap vinyl, it's harder to go together. The click together is not so much click together. So we didn't go the cheap route. We paid a little bit more money because we needed something durable for these guys here. There's Diesel doing uh, yoga. Um, we needed something a lot more durable, so it was a commercial grade vinyl. And it's not cheap. So I figured to go in together it was gonna be a whole lot easier because we spent the extra money to get the good stuff. And uh, Ella doing some dancing upstairs there. She kind of missed a beat, hit the floor. Um, so we spent the extra money and got the more expensive stuff because I didn't want to fight with it. Uh, it turned out to be a fight anyways. So because I didn't hit the button to record, you didn't miss much other than my frustration level is getting to a 10. And uh, that probably wouldn't have worked out well anyways. But I'm going to show you the towel here real quick. So this is what we're using. It's called Lifestep Metro. And that's one of the reasons we got it was it's pet friendly. It's supposed to be easy installation and scratch resistant because of the pet friendly. This one here uh, might be some false advertising. Or it was user error. This has already got the underlayment on the back. However, one of the issues I had found, well, this one doesn't look too bad. If you look down there, this one's fairly straight. Some of the ones that I had down there looked like they were a, a windy road, which made it a nightmare to click together. Plus they're right around five feet long, is it saying there? Plus they're right around five feet long, and because they're not stiff like laminate, they don't sit there like a board, they, they kind of wobble all over the wobble. They're flexible. No wobbles, weevils wobble, we, we're flexible. But we were looking to add to the cabin feel or outdoor feel. Did you hear that? That's Axel coming down the stairs and sliding. I know. We are going to get a, a big area rug to put in the middle here. Because you can see some of the marks on the floor just from their feet. I mean, it's not marking it up. But what it is, is it's water from their paws. So, anyway, that's what we're doing. We're trying to add to the cabin feel. All right, leave me a comment down below if you know where this is from. Yes, I had to cover up the sign so you wouldn't see where it's from. But this is what we're looking for. I'm trying to record here. Oh, uh, you want some water? I'll get it in a second. I'm trying to record. There we go. We got our bar, coffee, and whiskey. All in all, I think it turned out pretty good. Anyway, that's all I got for today's video. Sorry I wasn't uh, sharp enough to hit the button up top there to make a record when I was putting it together, but it was an event. Multiple days. I mean multiple days. Anyway, that's all I got for today's video. Hope you all enjoyed that. And remember, get outside and enjoy the outdoors, which reminds me, I think I'm going fishing. Later.